The example is a piece of equipment cost a certain factory rupees 60,000. If it depreciates in value by 15% first year, 13.5% next year, 12% third year and so on, what will be its value at end of 10 years, all percentages applying to original cost. Now, here it is given that a machine depreciates in value by 15% first year, 13.5% second year and 12% third year. That is 15, 13.5, 12 and so on. Now we can see that this forms an AP where value of A is 15 and value of D which is the common difference is minus 1.5. Now let us assume that the cost of that equipment is rupees 100. That is cost of equipment is rupees 100. Now, first of all, what we will do is we will find out that how much deduction would be there on the equipment at the end of 10 years. For this, we need to find out the summation of all these terms. So, finding this, we will have we need to sum up all these sums that till 10 years. So, S10 would be equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. This is the formula to calculate sum in AP. Here n is 10, 2 into a. a is 15 over here, 2 into 15 plus n is again 10 into d is minus 1.5. This will give us 5, 2 into 15 is 30 plus 9 into minus 1.5. This is 5, 2, 30 minus 9 into 1.5 gives us 0.5 so which will give us 30 minus 13.5 is 16.5 which is equal to 82.5 now this is sum of all the depreciation over here a piece of equipment costs 60,000 if it's depreciated by 15% first year, 13.5% next year, 12% in the third year and so on. What will be its value at the end of 10 years? So now we to now this was the depreciation cost. So actual cost will be 100 minus this 18.5. This is the actual cost of this equipment which is 100 minus 82.5 which is equal to 17.5 now our actual value of the equipment is rupees 60,000 so for a hundred rupees equipment it will be sell or actual value of this equipment would be 17.5 for equipment which is one rupee it would be equal to 17.5 divided by 100 and for equipment whose value is 60,000 this will be equal to 17.5 upon 100 into 60,000. Cancel it and you will get 105, 00 as the answer. Let's have one more example. Our next example is given A is equal to 2 to the power 65 and B is equal to 2 to the power 64 plus 2 to the power 63 plus 2 to the power 64 so on till 2 to the power 0. Find out which is larger A or B. Now in this question we need to find out whether A is larger or B is larger. For this we need to sum up all the terms given in P. Now we know that this is in GP because each digit is multiplied by 2 and then given the answer. This GP can also be written as 2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 62, 2 to the power 63 and 2 to the power 64. This will not make any difference to us because we need to sum up all these terms. 
over here a will be equal to 2 to the power 0 or say 2 value of r will be 2 because 2 to the power 63 divided by 2 to the power 62 gives us 2 and value of n would be 65 because there are total 65 terms because one term is 0 plus from 1 to 64th term which gives us value of n is 65. Now using the formula of summation of the terms a into r to the power n minus 1 upon r minus 1. Value of a is 2 to the power 0 into r to the power n. Value of r is 2 to 65 minus 1 upon r is 1 2 to the power 2 minus 1. 2 to the power 0 gives us 1 over here. Sorry, I am mistaken it. This is also 1 over here. 2 to the power 65 minus 1 upon 1, which gives us 2 to the power 65 minus 1 value of B. And we know value of A is 2 to the power 65. So, because B is 1 less than A, this shows that A is larger. I hope you have understood these examples. For more tutorials, you can log into indiaedu.com.